Hey, it's Joel, the 3D Printing Nerd, and I've got an update to the Delta Printer Go 3D Printer Review. So let's do this. Are you ready? Go. Uh, welcome back. So there's an update to my review of this printer, and I thought there were some very important details you should know. First, let's get to some of the models I've printed. These are Calibration cues, everybody prints these things, and for the most part, they were okay. They weren't stellar by any means, but you could definitely tell there were Z-axis inconsistencies, and uh, the edges weren't straight. <laughs> Corners weren't, there's a, there's, a, there's a gap. So if you put, the, you put them together, there's a bit of a gap. Top layers, bottom layers, they just weren't perfect. And I was hoping for perfect. But regardless of that, it was able to print these. I did get to test out with this Kirby model. I was dialing in temperature with this one. And that's why it looks like he's got uh, a dome over the top of his head. This Kirby right here actually turned out better? I don't know. There was the... There was the same Z-axis inconsistencies throughout the model and it, it just, it wasn't going well. I was able to get a Pikachu out, but the, uh, it, it was kind of rough on the tail and I, I did get one of these Moai heads going, but the, the chin was definitely stringy. The nose looks a little upturned and the, the, the top doesn't look very pretty. The ears look like they're falling off. The issue with this printer is there's no cooling fan. So when you're printing filaments such as PLA, there's no fan blowing on that PLA, so it, it doesn't cool down right away. And when it doesn't cool down right away, then it just, it does whatever molten plastic does when it's hot and it slowly cools down and melts into whatever shape that's supposed to happen. Here's the problem. This beautiful disc you see before you was supposed to be a garbage can. I've printed this model many times before. It prints a flat base and then it prints the sides to the garbage can. For some reason or another, it failed in just incredibly, fantastically crazy-like. And, well, let's start it this way. Uh, I started the print on this machine and it was downstairs connected to a laptop. I then had to go upstairs for a few hours, but uh, I knew to check on it a little bit. We got busy upstairs with getting the kids to bed. Once they were down and in bed and everybody was asleep, I was able to go back downstairs and the, the printer essentially destroyed itself. <laughs> and it was crazy. The, the videos and the, and the pictures, whatever that you're seeing right now are exactly as I found the printer when I saw it for the first time coming downstairs. Here's what I believe happened and here is where the printer fails. These arms right here are connected via magnets and so you can remove them easily. In fact, the printer itself, so one of the things I'll tell you is that it's sturdy, you can shake it and that's true. The magnets hold incredibly well when you're not applying, applying direct force to them but that's all it took to knock the hot end off of the magnets. There's no detection of when an arm may come loose. So at this point right here, if this was actively printing, it would still be pumping plastic out of that hot end. And these would still be moving, still be moving. And if for some reason it impacted it further, then you would just have an unstable, extremely hot molten plastic emitting thing wherever your printer is. Sure, it could be a fire danger because not everybody keeps a clean area around their printer. You should. I don't, always. So needless to say, I was a little bit worried and I don't trust this machine to run overnight. At this point, I contacted Delta Printer and I told them what was going on. Uh, what had happened here is filament got stuck, it shoved the sock up, which then eliminated the heat break. So filament got stuck in the hot end. The 
normally the, the Bowden tube is connected via these sockets right here. These are, these are easy. The other issue with this printer is these are not regular sockets. I can't push this down to release the tube. They're one-time use. So in order to get them out, you have to unscrew them from where they're sitting. So with this machine, uh, essentially, it had a catastrophic failure and it's not easily repairable. I had to rip this Bowden tube out of these connectors because I had filament stuck in the tube. And had I been able to take off these connectors on either side, I could have snaked the filament out. But with how the filament was stuck, I had to rip these connectors off of the tube, rendering it now useless. I took all of this feedback to Delta Printer and I, I told them about this and their response was, you're in luck, Joel, because we're working on an entirely new hot end and effector design. That's great. They asked me to hold off on reviewing this printer until I got new parts in. I said, are you still selling this printer? And yes, they are, because the new stuff won't be available until the end of February. And at that point, this printer is no longer the same. If I replace the effector and the arms, it's a completely different Delta printer. So that's why this is kind of an update, kind of a review. So this Delta Go printer, I would not recommend. I think that it has too many issues. I don't trust it printing overnight. And uh, I, I'm worried about the possibility of a fire. And I'm, I'm not impressed with the quality of the prints. That being said, this printer is going through a redesign. We'll have a new effector. We'll have new arms at the end of February because that's when things should be ready to be shipped out. And it will be standard issue parts on the Delta Go printer. So here is my conclusion, at least at this point. The Delta Go printer is not something that you should buy. I do not recommend it. Once the new effector and the new arms come in, and once I'm able to test those, I will put that now new printer through a review process and give you my thoughts. All right, there we go. That's my update slash review-ish of the Delta Go printer at this time. This is subject to change when new parts come in. Well, there we have it. So um, yeah, I, I hope you found this information valuable. I hope that you stick around and subscribe because the new update and the new review will be out in the coming months. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to hug each other more often because I love you guys. As always, high five.